Well, I said it all the time the last four years when LJ Martin was at Kana TU. He is hands down the best high school football player I've ever covered in over a decade of journalism. Martin has burst onto the scene as a true freshman, earning the starting running back job three games into his tenure at BYU. I'm not surprised it's happened, but I am surprised at how fast his rise has been with the Cougars. Now that he's in that chair, though, the sky is the limit for LJ. If you followed LJ Martin's high school career at Kennetio, then you probably have similar feelings about his hot start at BYU as his high school head coach, Scott Brooks. Nothing surprised me about LJ, but you know, we're really proud of him. And the big thing is he's one of a kind, you know, and just the way he his work ethic, the way he's his maturity is, but also he's a he's a really good football player. The freshman from El Paso, Texas. The moments Martin has already had just three games into his true freshman season at BYU speak volumes about who he is, and he's even surprised himself with his rapid rise. I always dreamed of it, always expected. He did, but like for it to actually happen has been like surreal. He's been by far the best offensive weapon we've seen for the Cougs. Martin broke out last weekend on the road in hostile territory at SEC foe Arkansas. In his first start, Martin carried 23 times for 77 yards and scored his first two collegiate touchdowns to boost the Cougars to a win and a 3-0 start. Afterwards, he said it felt pretty normal. Well, I would say it wasn't much different from my high school, to be honest. Um, I, I would say I guess I'm so like in the moment, you know, like you're just so focused on the game. It's like honestly like less pressure than high school for me. I thought he played much more mature than a, than a true freshman. You know, we've been I think we've been bragging about how good he's been. As the Cougars open Big 12 play, the pressure will build for Martin now as BYU's leading rusher through three games. But a lifetime of work has prepared him for the bright lights. Martin routinely would show up to Conatillo practices hours early to do his own rigorous workouts, running the dirt hills around Lowenberg Stadium. He told me I'm going to play, you know, and, I, and he, he believed it and he, he worked, you know. I mean, the guy was here at 630 in the morning during the summer. The day after graduation, he's out here for three hours working out. And that's not that's not something everybody would do. Martin said he acclimated to BYU's intricate playbook faster than he thought he would, which has no doubt accelerated his move to the starting lineup. Since midway through his freshman year at Canateo, when he was moved up to varsity, he's always grabbed the bull by the horns, and this is no different. I don't even think about it, honestly. I'm just out here trying to make the most of my opportunities, and you know, I'm just trying to do whatever I can do to help the team win. You know, I just. I just really enjoy out being out here having fun, and that's what I'm just focused on doing right now because it's worked so far just trying to have fun. Nothing he's done so far is surprising, even as Martin continues to exceed expectations. LJ will look to lead BYU to a 4-0 start this Saturday in the Cougars' first-ever Big 12 game on the road at Kansas.